what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today is the big car reveal um but first before i show you the car i have to go get her clean um because she is dirty from all sorts of stuff uh driving around and whatnot you know so we are going to go take a trip to go get her cleaned Alright y'all, so we just sitting here waiting, um, somebody else is in the car wash right now, so I'm just waiting for them, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing, um, hopefully you guys are having a good day, and yeah, just waiting, you know. so I can show you guys what it actually looks like on the outside. Alright guys, so we just got back home from washing the car. Um, so let me give you a little backstory on why I even got the vehicle to begin with. Um, so some of y'all might remember my old car, which is this one. Uh, the 2014 Nissan Altima. Um, well anyways, last year... yeah. Last year, it started having issues with the transmission, um, so I ended up getting that all replaced and everything like that, um, like literally a brand new transmission. And uh, it was all free, I didn't have to pay for it. You can check out the video um, if you want to. But then we decided that we were going to go on a trip to go see her, uh, Joanna's brother before the kids start school again, so it was about August, September-ish, end of, end of August, and like, he lives up in North Carolina, so we're driving from Florida to North Carolina, and the Ultima, it's me, Joanna, two kids, three dogs, and we had dropped the guinea pigs off at Joanna's uncle's house, who lives like, like an hour north of us, um, but that car was packed, and I mean packed. So what happened was we get basically to her brother's house, I'm like 30 minutes away from her brother's house, right? And the AC compressor dies on the car. So for like the last 30 minutes, I'm like dying. It's like freaking hot all up in the car and stuff. And we get there and I was like, look, we are going to go look for a new vehicle because one, the AC compressor just died on this car. Two, I just got the transmission replaced on the car for free. Um, three, it's what, six years old by that point, seven years old almost. And yeah, we need a bigger car because she had a Kia Soul, which obviously we weren't using for trips because that's an even smaller car than mine, my Altima. So we're like, let's go look at new cars and see what we can get. Um, so we ended up getting the car I'm about to show you because it's bigger, um, it's newer, it has more capabilities. I didn't feel 
as cramped as I did in the Altima. So that's why we ended up getting a new car to begin with, was because the Altima was just done and I didn't feel like fixing any of it and I just wanted something new. So let's go ahead and reveal what I ended up getting. This all digital display, which is pretty dope. It's got a lot of different things that you can do to it. You can set for your own customization. It has the 360 view on it. It's got this display here too which has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, Android Auto, you gotta actually connect to your phone via USB. And Apple CarPlay is, like, you can do it wirelessly, which is pretty dope. Um, so you have your this display, which has all your other stuff on it, maps, I mean, like, touch screen display, whatever. You know, the normal stuff that's on there. Um, let's see. You got your cooled and heated seats, your dual climate control, and then you actually have a climate control for the rear that they can set. Um, heated steering, you know, electronic shifter, which took me a minute to get used to. That was different. Um, it's got the auto hold and stop so your brake um, can auto hold once you're like stopped. Um, this is the auto start and stop feature which I turn off most of the time because I don't like it. <laughs> um, this is the passenger seat. This is the back seat. The kids are dirty, don't mind them. That center console comes out which is pretty cool. It's got third row seating. Oh, the um, second row captain's chairs are also heated seats, so you can heat those. Um, up here is your mirror with your garage door openers. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the SOS call thing. Um, you got your sunroof which I will show you let's go like this and we go all the way back so the only thing that comes up for the sunroof is this it doesn't that's all it does it stops there um, which is good enough for me And I'll show you guys that car later. <laughs> uh, let me show you the view from the back seat. Give me a second. So here's the view from the back seat. 
<laughs> this is the other climate control I was talking about for the kids. They can set their own thing. Uh, heated seats as well. So they can set their temperature for either that side or, yeah, set their temperature for back here. And they have their uh, USB-C, USB, and then it's an actual outlet, which is dope. So 120 volt, max 150 watts outlet, which is dope. I forgot that I left this battery in here. <laughs> And then you have the third row seating, which I always keep down because, you know, nobody really sits back there. It's mainly for, like, groceries and stuff. But, yeah. This center console thing comes out, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you need more storage or you want to set something there or if the third row is up and you want to walk back there, you can. Pretty, pretty simple. Then, there's a button right here. You just push it and the seat goes forward, which is so much easier than freaking trying to manually do it and uh, getting back in the third row. Got the little armrests that go up and down. Oh, this is cool too. Got the little things. I'll show you this. Watch. I'm just gonna kick my foot. And it comes up. It opens. I love this little net thing though. Put like a little bit of stuff in here and then it holds it from freaking hitting the back. There's a uh, more storage in there. But yeah, to pull the, the third row up, you just grab these, pull them up, headrests come up, put it down. No one really sits back there unless we're like in North Carolina, really. Push the button. It's got cameras all around the car. There's one here. Oh, I like this on a camera. Where is this camera? I know there's a camera back here. I don't know where. Whatever. <laughs> Folding mirrors. Cameras on the mirrors. Got the front. It's a V6 too, which is awesome because I didn't want a V8. Bose audio. Keyless entry. And yeah. This is the this is the car that we ended up getting and trading the Ultima in for. Um, we needed a bigger car anyways. The Ultima and the Kia were too small for us, and it was time for me to get a new car anyways. Um, so this is what we ended up getting for my car, and this happened in August, no September. The beginning of September is when we got this one. And then I will show you guys the blue one in a different video um, because I like that one a lot too. So, alright guys. Let's put this, uh, close this center so it doesn't get all hot in the car. And it's done. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the car reveal. Um, if you did, please make sure you give it this video a thumbs up. 
Also, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell for more videos to come. Look, Joanna's texting me. I should send her, I'm driving. What? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.